Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for uh, thank you for having me. So you know, when I when I give these talks, people ask me, so what has happened in the last five years since you guys built a computer that won the Jeopardy match? The early, very early AI systems were trying to pretty much do games, which is a category of problems which are very well defined and you have a specific strategy and you have a set of options that you can evaluate and decide on what to do next towards a very specific goal. Natural language is very complicated on the other hand, right? The vision that we are on is that there's going to be, it's not going to be a dystopian world where there are sentient autonomous machines running around and doing things that we don't want them to do. That's not what we think is going to happen in the future of AI. I think the future of AI is going to be where people and machines are going to collaboratively work together as a partnership, where they complement each other in a way that neither one of them could do um, you know, most of the complex tasks if left alone. Computers will essentially enhance and augment the human um, capabilities for intelligence. My vision is that in, in the next five to 10 years, every single professional on the planet, that's you know, two, three billion people, every single one of them has a Watson on their shoulder that they can rely on for the fact base and the information and knowledge base part of their lives. So don't think of Watson as one monolithic system. Think of it as a set of components that can be composed and made into a, um, an application or a solution that is appropriate for an industry, for a business, using the right data, which is sometimes proprietary, but a lot of it is open data. You can see how this can help you in decision making, but even more than that, what if you have a suite of tools like that embedded in your boardroom? So the takeaway here is that cognitive computing is this partnership between people and machines. It's based upon a very strong availability of data and the processing power that's now possible from that data.